a length of 85 meters, a width of 55 meters, a height of 30 meters, and with a total weight of 14,350 tons, meet the BP Clare topside. This towering structure, comparable to a huge office block, is going to be moved by Mammut. Engineering and planning of the tide-dependent loadout operation of this giant topside began more than a year in advance of the actual execution. Stability, pickup and set-down configurations, structural integrity, ballast calculations, time schedules were all considered in great detail. There's a big wind over here. Yeah, but and I'm going to move to the side. Mammut provides all the necessary skills and expertise to engineer such a critical procedure, the blueprint for any operation. Today, no less than 470 axle lines of Mammut specialist self-propelled modular transporters, SPMTs, are to be utilized to perform this challenging operation. Speedy mobilization and demobilization times have proved their merit on countless loadout operations for the offshore industry. A 14-man Mammut crew is hard at work performing the necessary preparations. Trailers are unloaded and coupled into the required configurations. The platform is fabricated at height on suitable stillages to accommodate the transport frame and sections of the structure that protrude down under the platform cellar deck. This height difference between the ground and the underside of the platform is no problem for Mammut. Packing is placed on the trailer bed to take up the air gap between the trailers and the transport frame under the platform. The trailer suspension is used to jack up the platform and later this suspension will be used to jack down the platform onto grillage supports on the transportation barge. Once the trailers are driven under the platform, the final configurations are set. Before the site move of some 150 meters to the key edge, everything is checked and tested once more. In the meantime, preparations on the barge are in full swing. The ballast system is installed. Assist equipment required, such as forklift trucks, purpose-built to fit under a height of 1.2 meters, the minimum height of the SPMTs, are also provided by Mammut. The computers of the SPMTs are linked together and configured so all trailers act as one. All functions are controlled and operated from one central operating panel. The engines are started at about noon on a Saturday. The platform is carefully raised from its supports and gradually begins to move. Mammut applies stringent standards for both health and safety. During safety and toolbox meetings, all safety and operational guidelines are advised. While the platform is on the move from its build location to the key edge in front of the barge, the computerized ballast system is tested. Mammut offers a range of complementary services, such as mooring, jacking and lifting services, the provision of winches, snatch blocks, the supply and installation of sea fastening, support grillages, row-row ramps and transport frames. With the world's largest fleet of SPMTs, Mammut is able to serve its clients anywhere and at any time. The SPMTs come in modules of four or six axles, and joined together to form trailers of the required size and capacity. Integrated computer control calculates each intended move to the right setting of any axle line. The hydraulic drive allows for very slow movements and the positioning of a load within millimetres.
Each axle is able to make any steering angle, allowing the trailers to perform sideway movements and even carousel on the spot. The site move is completed and everyone prepares for the actual loadout the next day. When the crew arrives Sunday morning, the 150 meter long Castoro 11 pontoon is already waiting patiently at the quay, held in place by five large mammoth winches. The early start is dictated by the tide. The water rises to the height required to transfer the platform from the quay onto the pontoon only on a few days each month. The tide is now rising. As a result, a smaller amount of water needs to be pumped from the pontoon to compensate the load transfer and to maintain its level with the key during the operation. To accommodate the weight transfer of the platform in a safe and controlled manner, Mammut controls the pontoon by installing a total of 24 pumps, each of which is capable of pumping 1,200 cubic meters of water an hour into and out of the pontoon. The world record loadout gets underway as the first of the 1,880 wheels are driven onto the steel ramp spanning between the key edge and the barge. The colossal platform begins its journey offshore. The ballast engineer is able to constantly monitor the flow and adjust the variable speed and output. The system constantly indicates the water levels in each ballast tank and lets the operator know exactly what freeboard is at each corner. Slowly and precisely, the crew inch the seven rows of SPMTs onto the pontoon. At 11 o'clock on the Sunday morning, the giant is completely moved onto the pontoon. However, before the trailers can be removed, they have to jack down the platform 20 centimetres onto its sea fastenings, ready for welding. By late afternoon, the jack and pack operation is complete. Another platform is safely moved by Mammut 